Okay, I got all that set up. So, hey guys, welcome back to Shadowland. Because I, Percy, I have to know who the killer is. I'm gonna tend to just, just, you. Like, I don't know if it's super loud for you guys, but yeah. About to blow, like, blow my eardrums out, so. Hey, wait, did I? Yeah, I we've read this. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like, I I got like almost no sleep last night, so like I I might have to like I might step away at like some point to make more coffee because uh, it was not it was not good like sleep night. Actually, it's like the second night in a row that I really didn't get much sleep. Like, I'm surprised I was ma able to make it through. Like, the whole... The whole stream yesterday, because I didn't go to sleep until, like, almost 4 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> hey, come on, I wanna know. I wanna get back into the game. It would have been bad if we hadn't already read that. Okay, so we're only able to talk to her. But like I was saying yesterday, like I I'm suspecting her simply because um she's the only one who uses magic, but it could also be the elder who really, really, really likes um technology. You got like this the shop that's called like the sacred something. But I just want to talk to everybody else who's in here for you. Okay. Minvo. Let's, let's talk to this guy. Oh, oh my god. I swear. Okay. The owner of this shop baby, looks from his PDA while greeting you. His tone is one of immense boredom. Welcome to Min Vuong Matrix Materials, aka MVMM. What can I give you? Okay, yeah, this is us. Let's see what he's got. Even though we're broke, so I'm surprised we can even freaking get anything. Increases your chance to hit against enemy IC and deck is for fifty percent for three rounds. Hostile target will take twenty five additional damage from incoming attacks. Listen to this one because like I feel like we may come up against Decker just because everyone here is like really into technology like almost like we've already went into like what two three Deckers one of the elders like kind of messed around like I don't think he was a Decker but he kind of messed around too. like the, the sims and stuff so maybe but like I don't know I don't know I don't know how to even put this on. Like, what does it count as decking? So I might only be, I might be the only one who's able to get this. But no, because Isabel is a decker, so I just don't know how to figure I'm supposed what it, I don't, I don't see anything. Is it just a passive attack for, like, everyone? Or is this it? Nope, that's the, ta that's what I thought it was. I was like, I don't think that's it. Is it a spell? I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, see you later. So now I'm supposed to be have to, what are you doing out there, Gobbit? What? So I'm assuming now we have to get talk to her and get, get, um, Elder Magpie, um, the key to her, sh to her shot. Why did you let the HP? I'm g I'm going to talk about this one because we don't know that the uh, that they let them in. They could have easily, or it could have not been all of them, right? It could have been the guy who said the security because if I can't remember which character said so, but. I can't remember. Like, they said one of the, he would prefer to not actually handle anything himself. 
So it's entirely possible that he just didn't want to, like, they came in and it was just like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. Oh, I don't want to handle this. Like, this is, like, he don't want to handle a direct confrontation. So he just, like, let them in. But it might not have been to the knowledge of all the other elders. Okay. Okay, why would we have? For departure from the Ram Poems isn't related to your investigation. It happened before the killing began. I'm certain she just off sulking somewhere. Ning, Ning's toe is profoundly indifferent. No doubt she'll come waltzing back next month, all full of attitude that life did to go on without asking her permission. Gonna take you t- so Right? It's like, yeah, that's why I had to play it. Like, I changed my plans. I was like, nope, I had to find out who killed. Like, the, yeah, who's killing these elders? Like, if it's a monster or if it's a magic user, which I guess, you know, you could use the metaphorical re- definition of monster as someone who's, a, you know, even capable of doing this in the first place. But I think it's a supernatural creature. If she does, we'll work, welcome her back. Despite our problems with her behavior, her skills make her extremely valuable. I've taken over maintenance of our matrix infrastructure in her absence, but I'm nowhere near her level. The best I can do is ensure nothing breaks down until she returns. I, I'd like to take a look around her shop. Do you have the key? She could be responsible for the killings. Not mentioning her seems like a major oversight. I don't know. Like, I feel like... Mm. See, like, I feel like if the game, like, the game is kind of setting it up to, like, it's making it too obvious. Like, I don't know how heavy-handed this game is. Like... It kind of, like, if it's going to set up multiple suspects or if it's just, like, this is the only suspect we have. So, it's obviously her. I don't know. But we're going to go into his shop. Yes, but there's a lot of sensitive equipment in there, including our community service. We don't let anyone who's not one of the Rampoan elders in there. Why would you need to look around there? I mean, I'm a decker and, like, a sh- I Come on. Hey, listen, you want me to find a killer? If I'm going to do that, I have to explore every possibility. Okay, very well. Take the key and look around. Just don't break anything or shut the surface off. Watch me ex- do it accidentally. Do it anything else? Um, I don't want to accuse them openly like that just yet. So, let's go to the jack point and try not to, like, mess up everything. <laughs> Because this is like, the minute they're like, don't turn up the community server, then I'm just going to be clicking on stuff and the next thing you know. Okay, so that's what we don't want to click on right right away. <laughs> okay, this bin is full of assorted chips, peripherals, and add-on modules for cyber decks. They don't seem to be arranged in any coherent fashion and are spread across the felt surface. Okay, search the bin. You sift through the display case searching for anything that might prove interesting. Isabel peers past you into the bin as you search. That's interesting. There's a lot of storage memory. I.O. handlers and active memory in this bin. I'm not seeing any MPCP hardware, response increased ch- chips, or anything related to the hot shit deck and Maggie, Magpie was supposed to be into. In fact, you could even build a full deck with this. Without the MPCP, it, it's just, it'd just be a glorified comm link. Maybe somebody stole her stuff. I mean, we already went into Wendell's house and they stole his, like, cred stick, so. Let's go. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what do you think? Okay, well, if I had to guess, i say somebody's cleaned her out. NPCP, response increase, biofeedback filters, and all that. They're easy to move, expensive, and highly illegal. All the rest of this crap is good, but it's nothing you couldn't pick up at any electronic shop. You'd have to know what you're looking for, though. Only a good decker would know what they're seeing. Could Magpie take, have taken them with her? I mean, I wouldn't put it past her the way she sounds, because then she that way they couldn't fully do her job without her. And she just protecting herself like how valuable she's considered to them. Okay. Isabel 
gestures toward one of the other displays. A pair of small cyber decks sit, insi sit inside the locked case. I guess so, but she did that while she leave the completed cyber decks. No, I think this was death. It is a snake emote with it. I think, like, I don't know, like, sometimes, like, Twitch is weird with, with emotes. I don't know. Okay, so. Hopefully we don't shut anything off. Just, just look at it. Don't touch anything. Yeah, the front of the service case hangs open. The inner machine will be quiet and without power. A clipboard is stuck to the side by the piece of duct tape. Its papers filled with a long list of programs and their prices. A quick glance over the program sheet reveals names like Bugs, 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 and Black Hammer. Undoubtedly, this was Magpie's attack program storage machine. Yeah, somebody removed the drives. It sure was a Magpie. Here, look. Isabel gestures to the innards of the open server. Near the, black, near the back, a solitary red light blinks. The main drives were disconnected properly, but it looks like she m modded the server to have a backup drive with its own battery-based power supply. If it was Magpie, she'd have taken that too. And yeah, crap, this is a Fuji XP-1000, and it looks like the battery power ran out a while ago. The XP-1000s are constant white drives. They're dirt cheap and have a ton of capacity, but if they run out of power, they lose their data. We're not going to be able to get anything off the drive. It doesn't seem like someone who's, like, really good at, like, what they do would have something like that. Unless, like, I, mean, I guess they are kind of helping illegal people. They would want something that would just wipe itself, that even if they weren't there. Yeah, Magpie's desk is the kind of messy most people only associate with rat nest, hoarders, and deckers. You know what? I feel like that's a personal attack, because my desk is... My desk is not clean. Like, good thing you can't see it. <laughs> yeah, the surface of the desk is littered with cigarette butts, half-finished cans of soy calf, and scraps of electronics. A towering pile of empty instant noodle bowls sit next to it. Their sides, their, their sides are blazing with honest wings, instant old-time lamian, and depict a line of top hat wearing caterpillars dancing with canes. Advertisement is weird, man. Like, <laughs> marketing is weird. <laughs> hey, awesome. I didn't think anybody but me liked Honest Wings noodles. Flavor like you never tasted in a package of instant noodles, I promise. Gobbit t taps the side of one container. See, this one's cheese curry broccoli. I don't know why it never cut on. Honest. I, I can't think of a reason. Duncan shoots you a sidelong glance, mumbling Soto Vos? What? Soto Vos? Voxi? Voke? Voxi? What? Gee, who could pass up the delicious taste of cheese curry and freeze dried vegetables? Gobbit seems oblivious to Duncan's sarcasm. I know, right? People out there have no idea what kind of culinary delights they're missing. Okay, such so desk. You gingerly root around in the desk, doing your best to avoid the most disgusting piles and spills. It isn't easy. The desk drawers are stuffed to overflowing with receipts, cigarette packs, optical chips, and cables. Most of the contents are boring, useless, and disgusting. While searching one of the bottom drawers, however, a low-quality tin lockbox catches your eye. Someone has pried the latch off, leaving a ragged hole where a lock should be. The interior of the box has several sleeves for storing key cards, all of which are empty. A small note is taped to the interior of the box. Spare stockroom keys. The door is in the rear of Mrs. Ying's restaurant. Do not lose these. Use only if I'm not available to open the stockroom. A stockroom, huh? So who broke the lockbox to get the keys out? Maybe it's one of the elders. They had the key for this place. Um, I'll be honest, I kind of, I kind of suspect them for the murder. I don't know about letting the police in, though. Because, like, I don't see how that would possibly benefit any of them. Um, yeah, I guess that's possible, but why would they leave the lockbox here? They could just pack it up and take it back to the Rampoa, leaving it here sloppy. Look at this. Isabel points at the broken latch. 
Most of the elders could crack a maglock. This was somebody in a hurry. I mean, but if they were in a hurry, they probably wouldn't take the time to actually crack. They, they were just, like, trying to get in and get out. I'm a kid. How am I supposed to do that? Here, you said your magpie's bathroom. There's not m much in here. Toothbrush, toilet paper, some hairpins, and a collection of cheap makeup. The combination bath shower unit, however, has minor flakes of a dry reddish substance near the drain. Blood, dried blood. Prying, prying open the drain cover, it looks like quite a bit of it was shed as well. Shit, maybe Magpie didn't take a trip after all. With that amount of blood, I'm guessing someone killed her quietly and then drained her body in the bath. It'd make it cleaner to relocate. Disgusting. I was actually about to... You know, I was about to say that, but, I mean, he kind of beat me to it. It just doesn't seem to match the killers of the scenes, though. Like, I want to say both of them, because... But I don't know. I want to compliment him. So, or her. Yeah, I'm thinking there's a lot more going on with these murders than we were initially told. First, they don't even mention Magpie to us, and now it looks like she's been killed. Something's not right here, Wolf. Let's not mention this to the elders. If they're hiding anything, they may start... Cleaning up their tracks better. True. Okay, but it says find the key to her storage room. How are we going to do that? Because, I mean, we already looked through this, right? Okay, yeah. So. We could try talking to Zippy again. I almost thought I was saying his name wrong. Can, can you talk to him, please? Oh. Hey, no, they don't do this. There's nothing. I don't like how they don't let you click on um things and like explain the objective. Where where am I supposed to go? Where? Oh gosh, that's not what I meant to put. <laughs> Find out the red spear. Oh, red spear game. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go for that. Maybe back here? Because I, I think, yeah, there was a way up here. I don't, don't know. Dude, wasn't that dude back here? You know, maybe. I just realized. Maybe. Nope. No, we can't go. Because I don't see... Oh, wait. What's this? This is the... Okay. Yeah, this is, I think this is where they are. Hopefully, we do not have to fight them. Please. We're going to have to fight them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I'm gonna have to be back just a moment because I have to go to the bathroom and I know and fights usually last freaking forever. So yeah, I'll be right back.
Okay, let's get this over with. If we do have to fight them. I just didn't want to be like, had to leave off in the middle of a fight. Like, oh, well, <laughs> had to go this way? Okay. I See, this is what I think is a fight because, like, I'm not getting any names for them. Okay, red, red spear ganger. That's far enough, lady. We the woman has her weapon tossing a nod toward the gangers behind her. This lot's hard tough. If you're looking for a fix, you're, you're welcome to trade. If you're not here for business, clear the hell out. You try and wander around on turf, we're gonna have to eat you out. Like, your turf is a parking garage? I can't think of any reason why people would need to go to a parking garage. Don't smoke. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, so what do you say? You're looking for a little pick-me-up, a little nitro to give you some pep, maybe you some chips, take that edge off, you want it, I got it. Yeah, so we're gonna feel like they came from... Okay, so yeah, we're gonna be part of my attack now. Um... I don't know. Should I just... They they probably won't just let us look around, so... What happened in the fight here? Let's, let's not... Ow. Let's not pretend. Yeah, as far as I know, some police showed up looking for somebody. They got in here. All of them got killed. Whoever they were after was long gone by the time we showed up. Used to be a lot of Wampons living here. They all cleared out, muttering about ghosts and shit like that. Well, I've lost all interest in being in the parking garage. <laughs> Have you heard anything else about the murders? Nothing much. I tell you what, though. I've got a guy named Kang, and he was down in the storm drain system last week. Something was moving down there. Big too, man size. But if it wasn't speaking any language, but it wasn't speaking any language, Kang understood. Kid beat feet back here as fast as he could. Smart. But we're gonna have to go down there. Oh gosh, dumbass dropped his storm key on the way out. Though I mean, to be honest, just priorities. Like I'll get another storm drain key. Like we we can make another one. I'm, t I'm not gonna die for us to make going back for that. Yeah, you wanna go looking for whatever it was? You'll have to get a new key from somebody else. King stole his from a city worker. Who else might have a key to the storm drains? There's a guy, guy named Porter Lamb who's got keys to pretty much everything. Porter Lamb. Did we already run into someone named Porter Lamb? I cannot remember. He hooked the keys to pretty much everything. He's somewhere between a cop and a handyman. You and also mentioned some elf woman with crazy colored hair who managed to scam a key. He said she hunted paracritters down there. Devil rats and shit. We gotta go talk to Rainbow again. Okay, um... Can I look around this guy? Woman, are you deaf? Or... Wait. Oh. I don't... Wait, a socialite etiquette would work here? Oh. Wait. That doesn't even make sense. I, I guess because of the, the word, but um, but if I'm just asking about like, hey, something was like down here, like, wouldn't you want someone to look around? Like, if it's not you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I broke, but let's see. We we have this. I don't know about this because I don't know if they ultimately like have negative effects after their rounds are up. So let's go talk to Rainbow. Who is this? Is that who I was talking to? And not? I thought I was talking to him. I, I was looking at him the whole time we were having that conversation. Wow. Because, like, I was thinking in my head, like, that's a... I don't think that's a woman. And, like, yeah, and it... <laughs> Demergo. De Can you talk to him, please? Okay, this man has a tired, world-weary demeanor about him. His eyes track your movements with a penetrating, critical precision. 
something about him, the lines about his eyes perhaps, make you suspect he's seen a lot of terrible things happen. He lifts his cup of cheap soy cap as you approach. Dude, do you know your eyes are purple? Okay, <laughs> okay let me guess. You're the freelancers, the elders are paying to look into the murders out here. Oh, I no longer trust you, Demur Demurgo. <laughs> How is it? That's right, who are you? Call me Demurgo. I'm not one of the wearing poems, but I've been here long enough that they don't think twice about me being here. Demurgo drains the last of his soy cap in a larger gulp. So what have you found so far? No, dude. You're awfully curious for a random guy. Professional curiosity. I used to be with the New York Police Department as part of the... Dormitorical Research Division, part of the CSI branch, except I did the magical investigation while the other guys pulled the prints and checked blood samples. Demergo tosses the soy cap cu cup toward the nearby garbage can. It bounces around the room and rolls inside. That is the most anxiety... In Ugh, I'm not sure how to phrase it, but like I always throw something and if it doesn't go in right away, I'm just like sitting there like, oh my god. It's not even that big a deal, but I can't help it. <laughs> when I hear about shit like this happening, I keep my ear to the ground. Old habits, you know. Uh, so why aren't you investigating it? Seems like you're more cut out for this job than I am. You're a long way from home, Domingo. <laughs> so, so are you. Let's not give anybody crap for it. Let's see. You're more cut out for this job than I am. Elden Neng asked me to look into the killings after the first murder. She couldn't afford my fee, though, so I took a pass. It's not just the money, either. Demergo shudders, folding his arms across his chest. You see that stuff day after day, you pay a price. It eats away at you. And I, can, I guess I can understand that. Cause you know what it's like to feel all that sickness and anger every day? TV asks to pick up a murder weapon and relive somebody's death. Oh, is that what he does? Oh. Can you feel it going into your neck, pleading in the voice of a dead woman for her killer to spare you? These days, these days I'd rather interrogate the living things. Honestly, I, yeah, I can understand. I kind of felt bad reading that. <laughs> what are you talking about? This, that sounds awful. It does. It sounds awful. Okay, awful is more than awful. It's a goddamn nightmare is what it is. One I couldn't wake up from for a long time. Sometimes you have to cut and run and start fresh. At least now I can pick my own jobs. Hey, I can read objects. It's called psycho psychometry. I feel like I said that wrong. Hey, a little trick I managed to pick up, don't really know how. I hold something, I can tell you what happened to it, who owned it, how it killed someone. If someone loved it or was afraid of it, useful, but it'll tax your heart. And before you ask, no, I'm not going to read anything you find. I already told Nag, Nag, how do you even pronounce that? There's no, I didn't want any part of this. You want advice, I'll give you that. But I'm not getting drawn in further than that. So if I, aside from that, is there anything else I can help you with? Okay. I guess we'll just go down the list, because I don't know much. Even though I've been here almost two years, I'm an outsider. They don't really accept anyone who's not as much of a tech nut as they are. I'm just a crazy maid that lives down the road. Demergo pauses and looks off into the distance as he collects his thoughts. Eeps? Eeps? See, the way I say his name is because like, there, was, uh, there was a horror game that was called like Eeb or something like that. And it was just spelled I-B. So that's how I'm pen Assuming that, but the the NG one is just throwing me off for some reason. He's basically, an enforcer for the rest of the council. He doesn't seem to set much policy. Neg 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 is a shaman that worships machine spirits. It's all a bunch of hokum. You literally talk to dead people. What are you freaking talk? Like, oh my god, <laughs> the Eve got. Oh my god, so many jump scares. I'll be honest, like, I was cool with Eve until that, like, one creature, like, jumped out the painting, and I wouldn't expect, I wasn't prepared for it, like, I, <laughs> I was not prepared. <laughs> magic is magic. Whatever you want to call a source is fine by me, but don't ask me to believe in the great spirit of electronics. 
as for everybody else, they tend to be an okay bunch. A bit strange, but that's French culture for you. They, they scrounge tech, rebuild it, sell it all. Some of them even have their own auto fab shops. And I want to go off for like a, a bit of a tangent rant for like two seconds. I really hate when like sci-fi games do this. Like even when they include magic, they always have to like have char- like multiple characters that's just like that crap on religious characters. And it's like, can you fucking not? Are we are we not past this yet? But whatever. Yeah, this stuff's pretty pretty high quality too. People from all over Asia come to shop here if they need something real or unusual. Tight knit little community, all things considered. Me too. <laughs> yeah, like that's yeah. I always what thought that the um. I do it. I do it to like the little art, the the sixteen. What was it? Eight bit or sixteen bit? I forget. But it was. I thought that would like make it easier, and the scares wouldn't be as bad because it looked just so cartoony and kitty. And no, really, it's not. <laughs> Did I read this? Okay, yeah. What do you know about the murders? Okay, they started a couple of weeks ago. Elder Gan was the first to go. That's when Neg asked if I could look into them. He was ripped apart. Arms wrenched out of their sockets, skin flayed away like a razor, with a razor sharp knife. The rest have been the same. Whatever did it sure didn't care about it being a clean death. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty, it, I think even the, the death scene, like the court, that one like crime scene that we walked into, I think even that looked pretty brutal for it, even with these graphics. But that's, I guess everything kind of looks a little worse in like 3D. I don't know. The murder lowers his voice, leaning in toward you so that only you can hear. The funny thing is, the Hong Kong police force was out here a few weeks before that, maybe a month ago, tops. I know that doesn't seem like much, but the one poem is don't you do that to police in here. Okay, so maybe we should go talk about that now that we have like a little more. Um, info on it. Okay, that by itself is odd enough, but it gets even stranger. The officers were loaded for beer, too. Big gun and the heavy armor with NBC stills. I just think of the network. <laughs> so they went to the parking garage near here, and there was some kind of gunfight. Never made it back out. When backup showed up, the Wampoans chased them away. Why would they let cops in and chase them away? That's exactly the kind of question you should be asking, and that the elders refused to answer when I asked. Demergo shrugs. Go take a look for yourself if you want. Watch out, though. A gang's taking up residence in there, dealing drugs and BTLs. They call themselves the Red Spear. Not too violent if you don't push them, but be careful what you say. Tong wasn't afraid when he died. He was caught by surprise. Demergo arches an eyebrow. That's not what I would have expected. With the amount of mess at each scene, the victim should have left behind a hell of a lot of fear and pain. Are you sure? Very sure. Tong died tonight, so the astral signature hasn't had time to fade. There was only a sense of perfunctory accomplishment. Then it sounds like this wasn't a crime of passion. A planned attack would have that kind of resonance, in my experience. It's possible the gore show is a throw off anyone looking for the actual reason. Demirko closes his eyes and starts to nod. Yeah, if I wanted to kill someone to get away with it, I'd try and point the finger at some kind of monster. Demirko opens his eyes and smiles a thin, humorless grin. Basic investigation 101. It's usually the simplest explanation, but don't discount other possibilities. You think the mess wasn't incidental? I mean, he's got good points as to why it wouldn't be. He said, it's a possibility. Ask yourself this, if the mutilation happened after Tong's death, why would a killer perform that kind of ritual? Um, it could be, I don't know, maybe Tong was like not starting not to believe in like, I don't know, he, he was starting to question the elders a bit? I don't know. But then it wouldn't explain the other two, I don't know. 
serial killers who engage in that kind of ritual don't feel perfunctory about it, in my experience. It tends to feel more like they're taking communion. It's a religious or sexual feeling most of the time. If this didn't feel that way, I don't think the killer is actually pathological. Um, so that means that the kill, that would mean that this killer is sane and like actually planning this thing out. He's not like, this is not like this uncontrollable urge, I think. I don't know. I could be reading that wrong. Okay, oh, you can go. I forgot the camera doesn't move with you. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the elders because I don't think we can't go anywhere. We gotta go talk to Rainbow. I don't know where the sewers are though. She, she was in here. Okay, hey, good to see you again. Something else I can help you with? Do you have a key to storm dreams? Of course I do. How else would I get down to look for strange creepy collies, eh? Wait, why do you ask? Can I borrow it? I want to investigate something down there. Alright, sure. Watch your step down there, though. The drains are might bigger than people normally expect. Rainbow tells you the key. Best of luck. Like, I... I don't think I would just be like, Oh, yeah, here. Here's this thing that... I mean, if a city if city workers have, it's probably not just something that you can get a hold of. And she's just like, yeah, here, take it. Can you go to... Oh, my God. I hate... Sometimes this thing. Is there anything we can do for you, Wolf? Okay. Uh, why did you let the H HKPF into Wempo Garden last month? It, Tang is taken aback by the question. For a long moment, he says nothing. When his composure does return, he speaks deliberately and with great care. We generally don't let the police into Wampoa Garden, it's true. But in this case, he made an exception. The police were very polite and offered to look the other way over some of our deals with the Lahojoa Lo 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 pirates. They also made it clear that if we refused, they might not only take an interest in our deals with the pirates, they would call on a special duties unit and force they were, their way in. We have repelled the Hong Kong police force before when they tried to push us around. We could probably drive out the special duties unit as well, but the cost in blood would be too high. And then shucks not committally. Since they weren't hunting a one poem, we saw no reason to refuse the request. So who were they here for? They didn't say and we didn't ask. The HKPF isn't exactly forthcoming about their business, and we found that the less we know about their interest, the safer one poet garden is. When you take an interest in the police, they return the favor. Yeah, as far as I know, they went to the parking garage, there was a gunfight, and the police never came out. Moore showed up a few hours later looking for the missing officers. We didn't let those in, though. We just delivered what was left of the body to them. I mean, I guess I can kind of understand because I just feel like, why am I getting a phone call? Get away. Um, I guess I can understand why they let the first group in because, I mean, they didn't just, like, let them in like, oh, yeah, sure, you can look around. Like, they were kind of threatened, but they they, they weren't going to let, an, like, just any every police group that shows up come in, I, I guess. Okay, why didn't you let them in? We were willing to allow the group of four in because they asked politely. When the reinforcements arrived, there were over 30 of them. That'd be harder to fight back against. And like you said, it might cause, you know, a lot of people to die, so, yeah. We couldn't risk the rest of the police setting up camp in our streets. It would have been a circus and disrupted our lives and business. Okay, I'll be going now. Don't I have to talk to them about something else? Okay. Where are we going? I like that. I really like the aesthetics of this game. Hey. Like, maybe because it's like, it's sort of futuristic, but also traditional at the same time. I don't like this music. This looks like... How am I gonna get... Oh. 
Bulls, baby. Can I? I don't think I can undo. Okay. Maybe that's a coin I can run around. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, despite the darkness, you can see something glitter at the edge of the drain. Looking closer, it appears to be a necklace chain of some kind. It's become caught in the drains. Great. Narrowly avoiding falling down the deep pit. Like, I hope I'd be able to see in the dark I'm a dwarf. Hey, lifting the necklace out of the drain, you turn it over in your hand. It's a simple sil silver pendant on a chain. The silver pendant depicts a long-tailed bird in flight. A magpie. Whoop. Mm. What? Oh, why would I go that way? Even though I don't think it matters. I don't think this that's the door. It looks like pipes. Yeah, there's, a, there's a, like a lot of things you could do with this. Like, because I'm even considering like, even once I finish this, I might start another playthrough because there's so much you can do with your character. It's like, it doesn't have, as far as I can tell, like there's nothing that you can't do. Like there's no race limitation or class limitation. You basically just like mix whatever you want and then, you know, all the choice options on top of that. Oh my god. Why are you just hanging out in the sewers? Like, first of all, that's nasty. Okay. <laughs> yeah, as you round the corner, you hear voices speaking just loudly enough for you to make out coherent sentences. The speakers are definitely not local. They speak with a slight Slavic accent, and their clothing is heavily armored. Around them are a number of crates and boxes, all mostly filled. It looks like the group is packing up. Ugh. Okay, Yaroslav says the boat will be ready tomorrow morning. He's gotten everything arranged with the port authority. When you move the goods to his warehouse, he'll handle loading them onto the ship. And we can get paid right then and there. The work spits on the ground. I'll be glad to be done with this filthy place. Maybe don't hang out in the sewer then? Just, I mean, there's other places you could do. put your heart out. I'm just saying I will too. I hate having to hide in these damn dreams. It stinks down here. I can hear the devil rats running down the walkways. It's a mess and it's disgraceful. We shouldn't have to put up with this bullshit. And Alexan Alexander still in the back from his little trip. We'll have to leave him behind if he doesn't get back soon. I know Galena. Until Andre says we're in the cliff on the triads, we can't be seen with the goods on the street. They find us, we go back to Vladis Vladis Vosh Vashtok and sausage casings. Those red dragon Mudaki don't screw around when it comes to protecting their turf. Who knows? Maybe Alexander was stupid and they caught him. Either way, we'll have to lug this crap to the drain for a few clicks. It's several boxes near the two women bear a distinctive label, a magpie in flight. The same emblem used to have stamped on magpie's equipment in her shop. The orc woman sniffs the air suspiciously and her Eyes dart toward the dark, dark tunnel you stand in. Before you have a chance to get out of sight, she locks eyes with you. Do I smell that bad? We were only in here for like two seconds. If we had a, this is a, it's a sewer. I mean, I'd be suspicious of a clean sewer. Like, do you not use this? And, hmm. But, oh my god, look how many people there are. This is going to take freaking forever. Okay. The orc lifts her chin as she regards you, cracking her knuckles. What have we here? A curious little pest come looking for things that don't concern her? What do we do with pest? Are you the one who... Uh, I mean, are they the ones who scared that kid? Because that's what I was looking for. Lena puts her hand on her shotgun's barrel. We break them. Vasilia? Vasilisa? The fuck that means? And then we hammer a spike through each of the dead though, so anyone who sees their bodies knows not to meddle in our affairs. I suggest where you stay where you are, pest. Okay, when I'm pulling elders know down here, you start a fight, you're gonna die every drone, a cyber junkie on the streets calling up your ass. I'm not here to meddle anything. I'm looking, just looking for a serial killer. 
So uh, you f- you found some friend. Us. You think you just walked out of here to finding us? Think again. Like I, guess it's like I could care less. We, like, <laughs> unless like okay, I guess they did a serial killer. So psh, okay, hoping good will. <laughs> Okay, look around you. These storm drains act like resonance chambers. The exits on the streets will be like the mouth of a trumpet. They don't care if they hear gunfire on their turf. Galena laughs. You think I'm stupid? You think you can fast talk me with some stupid? She's right, Galena. You know how sounds can echo through these tunnels. Shit. <laughs> Galena lowers the shotgun though her posture remains wary. You don't care about what... You don't care about what we're doing? Cause I have a job to do. This is incidental. So what do you want from us then? You stole Magpie's equipment from her shop? Did you kill her too? You took Magpie's key card, didn't you? Is there anything you can tell me about the murders I might not know? Okay. You think we get out a lot? I wouldn't have even known there were murders if I hadn't bothered to come out to get some soy calf last week. It's none of our business and it isn't our problem. And I like it that way. Okay. You stole Magpie's equipment from her shop. Did you kill her too? Are you kidding me? Investor Van Pollen's coming after us? No. We heard she left, but her gear was still in shop, so we liber- liberated it. What's it to you? It doesn't matter to me. Do you know Do you know what happened to her? Like she said, we, had, we heard an empty shop was full of things we could fence easy enough, so we broke in and liberated anything we could sell. I have no idea what happened to her. I don't live in Van Pollen Garden. I don't want to. Okay, you took Magpie's key card, didn't you? Yes, we did. Alex... Alexander took one earlier. What is this? Okay. Um, he said he wanted to sweep the stock room to see if there was anything worth stealing in it. Was Vas- Lisa? What? <laughs> he tosses you a key card. We don't have time to wait for him. If you see him, tell him to catch the hell up. What was that? Was that? That might have just been my character. It sounded like somebody was running after us. And I was like, for real? Okay, so we got to go back here. I'm pretty sure his storeroom was the... Because it's not lit up, so I don't know. Why? I wish they had just, just like, give us a map, please. Oh my god, I keep clicking that on accident because I, I keep thinking that button is like an exit button and it's not. I wonder, wouldn't it be kind of suspicious though, like... If we were just like suddenly walking around and like just going into all her places. <laughs> oh, that happens. I hate when that happens. Like, we just like got like some sugar and everything back for like coffee and stuff. And yeah, like I completely would still go to get sugar and stuff to go when I was making tea or something and just be like, oh yeah, we didn't get that when we, we'd, we'd be in Walmart or something and just be like, oh, we don't need to get anything else and then come home like, oh, we forgot all the important things, of course. <laughs> Food. Who is eating down here? Despite the table's crude construction and artfully laid meal awaits the owner, several small dishes are filled with pickled vegetables while a larger plate is arranged with long slices of raw meat. The meat is a pale pinkish white like raw pork and is covered in a light soy marinade. Poking at the raw meat you discover that it's surprisingly tender. What's more it has a faint aroma of marinade as if deliberately prepared. Eat some. No. Get the poison down here. No. Leave them. Mm -mm. Ah. Momentous. Oh gosh, there's a lot. Hey, this bo- this box is packed full of odds and ends. It nearly overflows with a collection of knickknacks, souvenirs, and assorted personal effects. There is no rhyme or reason to the collection of items. They appear to have been thrown in haphazardly. Among the contents are charms from various temples, a wooden mask, and a paper fan. Mm-hmm. 
The wooden mask is extremely light. It's been painted a pale white and the surface is almost as smooth as porcelain. Delicate features and lifted eyebrows are matched with bright red lips and delicately carved teeth. The teeth have been stained a deep black. Is that like a traditional mask or something? Or is that just somebody being dark? No, I did because it's like almost as soon as the stream ended, like I was like, oh yeah, I have to like I was supposed to like clean up a bit today, and then like I was straightening up, and then my husband came home. It was just like we don't have money for that because you know he basically he basically pulled like if you your parents have ever done like the we have food at home thing like when you ask to go <laughs> when you were out and you asked to eat like my parents did that all the time, and that's basically what he did. <laughs> So it was just like, oh man. <laughs> we need the small charms of square cloth packets, each approximately one inch wide and three inches tall. They come in a variety of bright colors and are embroidered with characters for prosperity, peace, wealth, and protection. Inside each appears to be a folded paper prayer or fortune written in Japanese. They unfold it in a fan, you tilt it up towards the light. To examine it, the image depicts an East Asian city from the 19th century or earlier, curved roofs at sunset beside a deep blue river. Two ships sail down the river, which is in turn spanned by a long wooden bridge. Hmm. <laughs> <You're scared. laughs> I don't know. It's, I am worried that we're going to run into, like, the killer or the monster or whatever we're gonna run into that just unexpectedly we're just coming here for us to see what's in her storeroom and then like the monster is going to be in here that's what i think <laughs> in the foreground laborers carry buckets along the shore as a man on horseback rides in the opposite direction in the distance a pair of large red buildings dominate the city skyline one large temple hall and a five-tiered pagoda Okay, okay. I was wondering because I was like, it sounded like the way they were describing it, it sounded like it might have been something. But then I was also thinking like theater mask. That's why I asked if it was just someone being dark. Okay. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Okay. As you step away from the box, you hear a slight click in the distance. The sound of the door's latch shutting. You are no longer alone in the stock room. I told you. Can can we like freaking heck what in the world is that? Hey before you standing Standing before you is a man clad in heavy armor and bearing a katana on his hip. His skin is an ashen gray, his eyes dead white, his teeth are jagged and appear quite sharp. This is no man, this is a ghoul. <sighs> Just once I like to be wrong. <laughs> I don't even actually want to fight the monster right now. <laughs> okay, the ghoul's blind eyes search back and forth as it regards you. It cannot see you, but you have a sense that it knows exactly where you are at all times. Ah, a hired gun. No doubt brought to bear against me by the Wampoan elders, a means by which they can lift a curse plaguing them. I salute your tenacity, but I wonder, will you hear me out before raising your weapon to kill me? Your ghoul and you're talking? Can ghouls not talk in this game apparently? Yeah, you don't seem interested in eating me. I feel like this is the more interesting one. Yes. Okay. I am not only talking, I am reasoning as well. And since you have not attempted to kill me, your own higher faculties are engaged. I am a curiosity. The ghoul bears his teeth, breath rasping over them as he inhales. You wish to know not only what I am, but what I have done, as for who. You may call me Gaichu? Okay, I know who you are. You're the one killing the Wampo and Elders. You are correct. I have killed all of the Wampo and Elders to date, though only Elder Magpie was according to my initial plan. I regret the deaths of the other Elders, but it was necessary. So he sounds friendly. <laughs> yeah, he does seem like... He seems like a very, um, I don't know. I don't know how to say that, but he's just very, 
he just like he's just talking like this is just a casual thing every day thing that you know just run into a ghoul that's a serial killer okay explain yourself what this guy you mean I feel like that's the this is what we're here for but I am curious like I want to click both of them but maybe that'll still be there this affair begins simply enough as you may surmise, I'm not someone who can be seen in public without great risk. When Poet Garden is an excellent place to hide, no police or triad presence, and minimal interest in things that lurk in the shadows. Unfortunately for me, Elder Nag discovered me through communion with her spirits. Rather than kill or chase me away, she came to me with a prop proposition. Yeah, like he's very, he's very elegant when he's speaking. He's very, like, like he does, he like he did say he was he's able to reason. So he, I guess he's smarter than just like the average ghoul and like I don't want to say educated, but like he just he's. I figured he would be taught like he would be like so just like uh not mindless monster, but he would be more like just overly evil. I don't. I, I knew she had something to do with this. I knew she knew who was killing him. I just... I mean, okay, and I'm gonna need... Isabel, like, he literally just said her spirits told her about me. So if Isabel continues with her crap, like, I'm like I'm just gonna, like, stop bringing her. Because, like, on, I don't know if you saw, like, on the last part, but, like, she was really just being disrespectful as heck to that elder just because she talked about spirits in the machine so it's like and here he is confirming it basically <laughs> look at that good man i'm sorry <laughs> yeah exactly he just just casual just casually down here in someone's store room like like just explaining how and why he did everything he's not even attempting to like mislead you as far as we can tell just yeah. See, that's why I didn't want to eat that food. Like, I knew this was a trap. I was like, somebody's going to be in here. And I did not want to be poisoned or, like, eat it and fall asleep and, like, end up tired in the corner with this dude and not even be able to defend myself. Yeah. Nig and the other elders were having problems with one of their number. An elder named Magpie had been holding many of their plans hostage and would not budge. They could not remove Magpie, however, because her services were too useful to wear poems at large. Neg offered me payment to dispose of Magpie, and I accepted. Wu shoots you a side long glance. Tusk bared as he grits his jaw. Why the hell are we talking to this thing, Wolf? It is literally telling us what's going on. That's why we're talking to it, Duncan. Duncan, like, you're here because he's like your childhood friend, but he annoys me a little bit, honestly. Okay, it's a goddamn ghoul, and you know what they're like. Really? What, pray tell, am I like? All teeth and claws and bad manners, I expect? Guy Chu's tone is amused, despite the harshness of his rasping voice. Really, you want to crack jokes, you cannibal? Wu takes an involuntary step forward, raising his rifle. You're the kind of monster that devour a family just because it's convenient. Remember the 162s? Well, if he just liked them. Duncan is, he has been, Duncan has been annoyed knowing me since I started this game. And like, it is that, like, if he wasn't leveled up and over those other mercenaries, I probably wouldn't have bought him. Like, I was actually thinking about which character do I want to switch out with that fire mage on the next mission, and it might be Duncan. Honestly, the only reason I bought him is because he can use, he's the strongest with guns. Hey. <laughs> Don't get <laughs> the stick to a game rule in advance. Uh, is it like that makes a bit of difference? Go on then, talk to the monster. But I'm k keeping my finger on the goddamn trigger, that, and that's why we probably won't be bringing you again, Duncan. Okay, I believe that we were speaking of the elders' plan to have me kill Magpie. Surely you must be a cu little curious about that. You didn't clean up all of her blood. I found some in the drain. Or in her drain. 
Ah, uh, unfortunate. I had thought I was careful enough. Having it on my hands must have obscured my sense of smell enough that I missed the last remnants in the drain. I disposed of Magpie's body by emptying the blood in her bathroom. Then I cut up and cut her up into more portable pieces. Yeesh. Those were placed. Okay, TMI. T T M I. T-M-I. <laughs> he got you nonchalantly waves a hand, his tone flat and concerned. It's unfortunate, but my survival depends upon consumption of all metahuman flesh. She's metahuman just because she has, um, like, tech in her? Hey, letting such nourishment go to waste would be a foolish error. Okay, but why kill the other elders then? That's what I was thinking that this whole time. Hey, I contacted the others, not in person, of course, and they went to exchange payment. I assumed that since the job was done, Nager would be a woman of her word. Bearing his teeth, got you his is his next word to cause tense teeth. I was mistaken. Seriously? You, are you surprised? Yeah, like, Duncan just, shh, for the rest of the game, just don't say another word. Yeah. I arrived at the nearby parking garage the elders had told me about. They cleared out the other wimpons under some pretense, though I'm not sure what rules they used. The elders never showed up. Instead, several members of the Hong Kong police force arrived. They were more heavily armed than usual, so I suspect they knew something of my nature. I heard about the fight. You expect me to believe you took on a police squad and won. Why not? Of course, I have survived as a ghoul for some years now, on the streets of Hong Kong. If that isn't evidence enough of my tenacity, I doubt any words I can say to you will change your mind. A betrayal of that sort cannot stand. Not only was I not paid for my time and effort, the Wampo and elders treated me like a common animal, and I am so much more than that. Reputation is everything and I had none. I had hoped to build a network of contacts so that we were able to continue finding work, but with that treachery my hopes were dashed. I decided to become the monster that they feared. Well, now we now this is just awkward because I think if we don't kill him, we won't get money from games. So if he doesn't well, offer us money, then we're just gonna have to fight because honestly, I'm broke, and so I have to make <laughs> I have to make some decisions. But we're all gonna if if possible, we will call the elders out on this. I just you know I had to think about the fact we fact that we need to buy like you know, medicine and stuff like that later on. Yeah, one by one, I have eliminated them. They know how to contact me and could have ended their nightmare at any time by making amends. I would have asked for more money, but I would have ceased my hunt. Yet they did not. Instead, they contacted you, no doubt asking you to eliminate me where the police had failed. Okay, so I ask you, what now? What will you do? Will you attempt to finish what the one poem started? Or will you treat me with the same humanity I have shown you? Okay, let me ask you some questions. I could lie and say that, you know, I killed him. And just what I do, just, like, go off into another town like I handed this. But they probably won't let me do that. Okay, did you eat the elders? Why would the elders have killed you killed instead of paying you? If I let you live, what will you do? Um, hmm if I let you live, what will you do? Kill the rest of the elders and anyone else they send to exterminate me? It's a matter of survival. Should I ever, ever have the opportunity to work freelance again, potential employees need to understand the price of betrayal. These murders are my curriculum, vitae, and revenge. <sighs> why, would, okay, why would the elders have you killed instead of paying you? Like... See, the main thing I don't know is, like, I don't know what type of repercussions it'll have if I just let, like, that whole, like, all the... Because he's not going to kill everyone. He's only going to kill the elders. So, I don't, I don't know. Why would the elders have you killed instead of paying you? Any number of reasons. They are notorious cheapskates and will always try to save money when dealing with outsiders. It could be their natural inclination towards profit. They may regard me as subhuman and therefore, therefore unworthy of respect. It could be that they felt I was too dangerous to allow to live. It could even be that they simply did not like me. The net result is the same, however. They even nudged on the deal we brokered and attempted to have me killed. A message must be sent. Blood must be paid. As they advise you to kill me, they have obviously not learned their lesson. 
Uh, it's like I don't know because I can understand like where he's coming from. If I did a if this was me and I was doing a quest or you know a mission, and then at the end the person who I was doing it for was just like, oh yeah, instead of paying you, I'm gonna kill you. Like I would, that would just be a fight, and like I would just like killed whoever betrayed me. So like I can't. I, I don't know. I, I think I'm going to let him live. Like, because... I don't know. I think I'm going to let him live. Because they are a group of murderers. If we, like, if we're real, they literally killed someone so that they could do what they wanted. And then act like she just up and left on her own. And it's just no big deal. And then I then tried to kill a person who they sent to assassinate her. I don't know. I'm not feeling very sympathetic towards them. So, I made my decision. Oh, what then will you do? How will the story end? Come and work with me. I can be your face. Um. Should we let him work with us? Huh. I guess, because the only other option is to attack him, so. I guess. A curious offer. And what are the elders? Will you allow me the satisfaction of killing them? I want to see what they have to say first. Of course, as you said, a reputation is everything. Ugh. Yeah, good, good. Kaiju smiles. Oh, I have to confront him. Kaiju smiles, his shark-like teeth glinting dull yellow in the light. Excellent. This is a better resolution than I could have hoped for. Let us wait until a bit later in the night. Most pedestrians will be off the street, and it will be easier for easier for us to approach the ramp without being noticed. Sounds like a good plan. I have a feeling Kindly is going to be like very angry with us, like, cause oh shit, cause she was just like, oh yeah, she wants her cut back, and that's why we had to come help them. <laughs> oh well. She, the, the antagonist should have, like, you no. Know, I don't know. The. Oh, well. Oh, well, maybe we'll make it up in, the, like, the next mission. And, like, give her some money from that one. <laughs> Wait, where they at? Why did they move? Oh my god. Can you click on them? As you approach, Elder Nig's eyes widen. Her mouth falls open and the reins of her necks bulge. What are you doing? You brought this thing into our home? Quick, kill it before it kills us. Poor the hell's... I know... Um... Wait, have we seen him before? Because I do not think so. He pulled the half his pistol warily, but does not aim it at anyone. You have to say, this isn't a good idea. Why the hell is a ghoul in here, and why is it wearing armor? Got calm yourselves. I'm not an it, and your elders know this intimately. Gaichu bits his teeth in a victor's grin as he turns to face Nag. Good evening, Elder Nag. I can smell your fear, and I'm glad of this. It means you're learning the price of betrayal. Whoa, whoa, what the hell is going on here? Can someone explain to me why the ghoul is talking? Gaiju had a... Um... The, girl, the elders have been laying, lying to the rest of the Rampons. Gaiju had a contract with the elders and he betrayed him. You did accuse us of conspiring with a monster and covering up? You're insane. The very idea is preposterous. Porter nods at the elders, looking back to you with a wary expression. I'm interested to hear what kind of evidence you have to support this theory, Wolf. As far as I can tell, this monster killed Tong and the others, and that makes him a threat that should be eliminated. They died because they betrayed Guy to other than paying him for the killing of Elder Magpie. Which one? Hmm. I'll say this one. You believe this vermin? This creature that feeds on metahuman flesh, that kills and dismembers our tribesmen? You are not even a foolish woman if that's the case. Nag spits on the ground in front of Gaichu. What proof do you have that magpie is dead? Nag, please. In matters where an elder is accused of breaking our law, the other elders generally judge them. 
and matters with all of them I have been accused. I am authorized to act as a judge. Make your case, Shadow Wendy. Shadow Wendy. I found Magpie necklace in the storm drains. There was a large amount of blood in her shower. She had received. Okay. I, I'm going to... See, I would say both of these together. Pote takes a moment to examine the necklace. He nods at you. This is definitely Elder Magpies. If you found it in the storm drain, that's suspicious, but hardly proof on its own. Of course it's not proof. The number of things lost down storm drains in Hong Kong must number in the tens of thousands per year. While unusual, it's hardly evidence of foul play. There's a large amount of blood in her shower drain. So what? Perhaps she cut herself and washed the cut off. Y you just... Right, he's, right, he's very polite. They're just insulting this man. Now they're insulting us. So, just all sympathy gone for the elders. Just saying. Just saying. You're simply guessing as to what happened. And like I was saying, like, if you cut yourself in a shower, like, it might look, it might look like a lot of blood at first, but it would not be enough to fill up the drain and, like, sit there. Like, I'm sorry, Yeah, that's true. It's a guess. And even if it is her blood, that doesn't prove... That doesn't prove that the others hired this ghoul to kill her. Like, he should... Like, they should carry, like, a massive thing. Like, something on their person. Like, you tell me, like, they don't go have cell phones or anything that they could, like, bring up the message and be like, yeah, here's, like, the you know, where they hired me. Here's the message where they gave me the job. It just seems like that's just something you should have. You shouldn't take word of mouth contracts. Not in like a city like this. And she hasn't been seen in a month. Not by anyone. She wouldn't just disappear like that. That may be unlikely, but it's hardly impossible. You haven't established that the elders are involved. All you've done is make suspicions about it. What proof do you have that we hired and betrayed this creature? I won't sit by and listen to idle accusations without any kind of concrete evidence to back it up. What about the fight with the Hong Kong police force? How do you mean? What does it have to do with the other than the ghoul? You and Poems don't allow police inside the area. Why make an exception this time? The police were polite and asked for permission to enter. Yeah, sure. They were hunting an honorable Poem. That was reason enough for us to allow them in. Porter considered this for a moment and then shakes his head. That doesn't add up, Nate. Why would the police ask us for entry now? They've never been polite before. And they've always tried to force their way in here. It just doesn't ring true to me. Did you ask them to come in order to hunt down this ghoul? Preposterous. Porter, you know what our community is like. We wouldn't lie over something like this. This school has been lying the entire time, trying to cover his tracks. He still brutally murdered several, uh, several elders. That's true. Those murders were vicious and cruel. Porter fixes you with a hard stare. I don't see any way to explain that away. This ghoul is a monster for how he killed Tong and the others. Tong wasn't tortured. There was no actual residue of pain or fear. He didn't even feel a blow. The scene of Tong's murder like the others were deliberate sham. It was made to look more horrific than it was. Okay, Tong wasn't tortured. That's correct. I struck a single blow while his back was to me. His death was instant. Regrettable that he had to die for your folly, Nig, but necessary to protect my reputation. Nig glares at Gaichu in stony silence before addressing Porter. You cannot believe what these people say. They are not to be trusted. And even if this is true, he still killed Tong. Porter looks back at Nig, his expression flattened without emotion. Maybe so, Nig, but a monster would not take Tong's suffering into account. He may be a killer, but he's not heartless. The scene of Tong's murder, like the others, was a deliberate sham. It was made to look more horrific than it was. I believe you. The blood smeared on the walls, the removal of his skin, that's a scene designed to evoke horror, not the scene of an actual fight. Elders, what do you have to say in response? This is a farce. We have dedicated ourselves to protecting the Wenpoan tribe and everyone who lives in Wenpoan Garden. Do you really believe outsiders and monsters over our word? We have only tried to end the killings. You've been duped, Porter. You and the shadow winner. Yeah, I can't care. Porter, you know me. You know the kind of person I am. I wouldn't be part of the party to the killing of another elder. I mean, that doesn't mean it couldn't have gone on without you knowing, because I believe it was all her, if I'm looking at the right elder. 
I can't believe we're even entertaining the notion that we have to defend ourselves. We should be disposing of the school instead. Tang now his eyes at you, hissing. If you think I'll forget this, you're solely mistaken. I will not tolerate this kind of insult. The elders were all too happy to have the red spears move into the garage, almost like they wanted to keep anyone curious about the fight away. Magpie's gears missing, obviously missing. Why didn't you, you tell me that? He would have he would have had to have noticed, and Magpie's shop is locked up. Why didn't he want me investigating? I don't know, I just go down if I can. That's right. If you even told me not to go find out what happened with the fight. You said the Red Spirit gang is moving in and to leave them alone. Why would you tell me not to look into it? I was only trying to protect you from the Red Spears. They're dangerous, which is why I wanted to deal with them directly. Okay, Magpie's gear was missing. Pure superstition. You think it proved something that I didn't know this equipment was missing? Magpie's shop is always a horrible mess. Yeah, but if someone who doesn't know her can just walk in and be like, That's... This is supposed to be here, and like none of this is going. This is clean, and like, yeah, you know this. And Tang, you did a full inventory of Magpie's Matrix service. You assured us everything was running fine, and you would be able to continue her work. I find it hard to believe you missed something as obvious as missing equipment, especially while searching his stock. That's all I've got. All right, I think I have some idea what's going on here. And what do you believe the real story is? The waters are muddy on this matter. The ghouls seem to be telling some of the truth, and I respect that, but the fact remains he is a dangerous creature who's killed many of our number. A law is clear on this. He must die. You seem to be blameless in this wolf. What do you say to this decision? Like, I'm not gonna, like, betray him and have him, like, hunting me for the rest of the game. So, <laughs> then you too must die. Eep, the wimpons. I mean, that's fine. Kind of gonna be like pretty pissed at me, but um, wait. I'm about to say, why am I? I guess because you're closest. And if you could like get behind everyone, thanks. <laughs> um, oh my god. Okay, Duncan, please. Okay, I think she has a spirit that she can... She can also um, poison people now, apparently. Oh my god. He's a melee character, of course. This is... It should, it should have done more damage because it was a back attack, right? I mean, I don't know if this game has that. Who is in the world? What? Wait, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta just see that I got an achievement. Go wait for it because I'm assuming because he he died from the poison cloud. Second grade. Um, we don't need anybody being wounded this early in the fight. Is he dead? Okay. Um, I think he might be in cover, but... Oh my gosh. Does she have anything? Who am I on? Oh. I guess when she had it. Oh my god, it got it. Gee, Carmody. Can you please just attack him? <sighs> I don't know why he's not. It. Oh my god, okay, wait, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. Go back. You did do damage. Thanks, Gabby. Do I have something else? I, I guess I should. I should news just, you know. What in the world is that? Oh, yeah. We can get them. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Okay, please. Who am I on? Okay, he can't get to him because that elementalist. Got you. Okay. Just, no, turn around and... Oh my god. Okay. I'm going to go back to Duncan. I can't. How did you possibly miss? Okay, I'm going to move her up a bit. So she can get that guy. Just if somebody could please get Oh my god, okay. Let's just burst all this. Let's do this. Oh my god. How did you block a bullet exactly, sir? Oh my fucking. <laughs> Will you stop wasting his moves on a freaking. And you st he still can't attack him, so it's... Did he have nothing else? But critical chance and critical multi multiplier rate, however you die, just not reduce for winning to... Okay. Tax to do AP down, reduce HP. I guess because he can't do anything else right now. He still got to move great. Okay, I don't know. Come over here. So make it a little harder to hit. If only we could just kill this guy right here. He, she still missed. What's this? Maybe that might make him a little easier. Oh my god. Can we just kill this guy, please? We still have like two more people to take care of. Can you stop? And he's out of ammo. Good on good you Duncan. The only reason we bought you and you can't do it. Sure. He can't do that. Um Oh, that's this is a garbage who's out. Okay. But we need to be able to move that stupid elemental. Like I think he's only supposed to last a few rounds. Because I know you're going to disappear at some point. Cause, like, they... Oh my god, okay. I just need to be able... Maybe you just start attacking them. I don't know. She's missing all of her attacks. Good freaking gracious. Like... Whatever. Oh, she can't even heal. Her. Oh, maybe she can. I don't know. Whatever this. Heal garbage. Oh my god. I was like, all she had to do was hit that one freak, that one attack. That was all she needed. I keep fucking racing. Whatever, just. Just get, just get out of the way. Just move. Oh my god. And she can't attack. And he can't attack. Oh my god. And 
Okay, so like, shouldn't that, that thing should be gone. Whatever. If she could do her poison cloud again, maybe. Thank you, thank you, he moved. Now he's attacking us? Can you freaking not? And she misses. Why? Okay, my character needs to move. Who am I on? Okay. Honestly. Yeah, we need to get that drone out. Yeah, just go punch the drone. Just doing one damage. Holy crap. He just out of my healing lane. And they don't need it, so... I'm gonna come over here and use all my moves and then hopefully can heal him in the next round. Please. Can you please? Can we just get the drone out? She missed. Come on, for real? Okay. He's. No, I don't wanna. Oh, he got his own med kit. Okay. Kill him. And then. Come here. Oh. He's coming. Eventually. Thank you. She. I don't want. Know what that achievement supposed to mean? I got. Is it welcome to the sixth world? Oh my god. Okay. What in the world? Oh yeah, good name. Okay. Dang, that's damaging us too. Holy crap, Isabel. Uh, the elders fall to the floor. You stop and survey the carnage around you. It is accomplished. No more betrayers alive. No more worry that others may think they can take advantage of me. Lead the way. I look forward to our new business partnership. Yeah, it's like I I got a bunch of this, like just what was the last one? Just, just for this battle. Oh, well, I hope we don't have stuck with kindly like the whole game. Because we are kind of messing up her business. Which is with this one mission. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, um, now this is somewhere over. I will be right back. I, I drank way too much coffee before the stream started. Because I got no sleep. And now it's like coming back to haunt me. And like I have to keep going to the bathroom. I'm so sorry.
Yeah. Like, to be honest, like, I was kind of getting worried about him when they were like, you have no evidence. And, if, like, for a moment, I forgot, like, everything. I was like, oh, my God, wait, you don't have evidence. And so, like, I was getting kind of worried. But I, I'm glad he didn't betray us. I thought I was going to have to go, get up and make more coffee in the middle of the stream. But, like, I don't know. To, I have enough energy at all. And I also, I did, I'd want it to get to the end of this mission, even though, like, I have to say, this is surprising. I have a, I guess got an achievement called Ronin. I can't, gonna check, nope, cannot check it. I guess, he's a Japanese girl out. I guess I would kind of sort of explain this stuff but like they didn't really say whether all that stuff in the storage room was there before he got there or you know that that might be a pie stuff yeah you're about to leave this location yeah this is a skull no we about to get chewed out let's just get it over <laughs> Yeah, I, he was probably very disciplined before becoming a ghoul. Like, I, I mean, I know ghouls usually are, like, the lowest of the low, and when, whenever they show up in, like, games and movies and stuff, so maybe just because he had all that discipline before becoming a ghoul, that it, it just stayed with him. Like, he had more will than the normal person who gets turned into one. Oh wait, I didn't read this. The MTR rockets noise noiselessly. Wait, the MTR rockets noiselessly toward Hioi along the edge of Kowloon Bay. The black water glitters in the night with the light of a thousand reflection reflected storefronts. Gaichu stares sightlessly out the window, one hand pressed to the glass. The Wampo and elders are dead. They forced your hand and paid the price for it. This story was a cleverly crafted lie meant to put the ghouls to death for their greed. But was the trade you made worth it? The, uncertain the uncertainty of that choice is as clouded as the sky above you. To be honest, I think I made a very clear-headed decision except for the fact that I forgot why we were there in the first place. But besides, <laughs> besides that, I think it was a very clear-headed decision. Oh, I got karma. Optional, get some rest, travel to the sky tower. Meet Connie Chanks. I don't want to meet her friend. <laughs> no, I was like, I'm good. I'm good on meeting people today. We had a very sociable experience. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, okay, everybody got stuff. I gotta say, like, it always takes just long enough for you to go, wait a minute, did I actually click on something? Or is the game frozen? Because that would suck. <laughs> I mean, also because her friend could be Bao, and we already seen what happened to, you know, people that he meets. So, <laughs> listen, I was like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on that. Oh, we do have nine. I guess I should. What's this? Cyber weapon unlocks additional cyber. Um, I don't know if I've been really concentrating on that. So, mm. I haven't really been. Oh, that, oh my god, I can't believe I didn't have that up. You can see exactly how much, like, HP enemy has left. Didn't, should have had that already. 
I don't know. I don't know if I'll use drones on this character. I might. It's very helpful to have one. Dragon lines visible through. I don't know what that means. Use to calculate the chance to hit with hermetic magic skills and chi casting attacks. Helps boost resistance against certain magic attacks, such as mana bolt. We haven't actually run into any enemies that so like that. But I assume it because it's there that we will need it eventually. So I'm gonna go ahead and be proactive. <laughs> and I know that willpower I think is very important for magic users in this game. If I remember the like beginning tips correctly, you get a chance to remain control. I don't think we have enough. Increases the effectiveness of the Decker's expert systems program in the Matrix. I don't think I've used that. Main main component use to calculate the chance to hit with Dome Blades as well as to target areas with hand grenades. Increasing the skill and unlock special abilities for Dome Blades. I don't know, I might do that. Even though I've been trying to do more of a magic build with her, I'm not sure exactly how to do that. So, I guess we'll give her some weapon knowledge. Okay. Garbage Rat Totem Invocation does 99 damage to any hostile spirit. This spell can only be used on spirits. Hmm. Okay. Garbage Rat Totem Invocation can still control the spirits that have been summoned by enemy shamans. Note that only one spirit can be under control until rank 5 spirit control, where it increases to 2. Hmm. I guess. I don't know. I guess that one. Oh wait, I didn't get everyone. Okay, Red Samurai. Gaichu gains a defensive ability that adds plus two armor and plus one dodge. Cost one AP, cooldown five. Did that mean full five rounds or five seconds? They don't really specify. Okay, Ghoul. Gaichu gains a call ability rep. Does an additional two damage and two bleeding damage for two rounds. Like bleeding attack, so I want to go with this. Gain guide. We can always go to level 3. Okay. Guide you gains a ranged ability. A quick shuriken toss. Uh, damage 12 HP, 1 A. Calls 1 AP. Which AP is action points, I should say. So, in case anyone doesn't already know that, it basically decides how many times you can do anything within a certain round or during your turn. Got you again. Wait, it's the same thing. Mm. Got you. Sp it, oh, got you gains a ranged ability. Spit an infected saliva into the target's face. Ignores all armor. Damage eight when an additional four damage for two rounds. Max range ten. Cooldown. I don't know. That's a bit disgusting. But here's a goal. I, I don't know. I feel like uh, that's some. This does more damage, so we're gonna take that. I don't know if I'm gonna take you to take you to any more missions. So you get get us killed because you running in your mouth off. Your dunking gains a rifle right ability that does two AP damage and bounds the target. Then we use this, so augment ability subdue. Lethal Force, dunking in an assault rifle ability that has 99% chance to hit an enemy who has less than 25 HP remaining. Hmm. No. Um. Hmm. Okay, Isabel. Sabotage. Isabel gains a pistol ability that increases accuracy by 30% and critical chance by a small amount for one shot. Cost 2 AP, cooldown 3. Integrated tactical computer marks with weak points in an opponent's armor. Isabel's market 
mark target ability now reduces the target enemy by one. Hmm. I don't know, Phil. I mean, both of these would be good. But it only increases it for only one shot, so this might be better. Okay. Did I? Yeah, already. Are you sure you want to confirm? Yes. I think I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Claim payment. Is there going to be payment for this one? Because we, we killed the people who hired us. I mean, but they were, they were doing some dirty mess. I wouldn't be surprised if we had kill Gaichu and then they tried to kill us so I, I wouldn't even put it past them a blinking message okay yeah you yeah, two urgent task kind of change little birds have been whispering in my ear about an urgent and high paying one still arm Lou a red pole managed to get his hands on information concerning a prototype laser weapon in development by Ares Asia Holton uh, Holdings for years, the Yellow Lotus and the Red Dragon have been locked in a Cold War. Despite this, we remain evenly matched. Neither one of us can attack the other without being exposed to devastating reprisals. Lou wants to change this, and he has a plan. Yeah, exactly. They had it coming. Just, I mean, if it wasn't, if it wasn't us, it probably would be somebody else that you screwed over. Like, you can't just do that to people because they aren't in your little group. Yeah. Rather than strike directly, Lou intends to aim external forces at the Red Dragon, specifically Knight, er Knight Errant. He intends to frame a white paper fan named Golden Fong, making it appear that the Red Dragon had been bribing Ares researchers for classified data. Two leading drone and energy weapons researchers have recently transferred from London to Hong Kong and are running the project. Doctors Taylor and Hardingham were respected in Europe, but in Hong Kong they remain unknown quantities. They're untrusted and therefore are considered untrustworthy. Perfect targets, in other words. We will provide data that will make it look as if the researchers were con contacted by Golden and Fong and made quite a bit of money, but grew tired of their arrangement. Transfer the attached file to a data chip. The files are bundled with a worm program, which will auto-execute when, when inserted into the appropriate systems. You need not bring a Decker, though one may be helpful. Well, I'm already a Decker, so... I, I don't... I think I need to... Is that the right word I'm looking for? I think I need to bring a little bit of diversity in my team because we don't need two Deckers and two Shamans. So, yeah. But the other mercenaries are not leveled up. <laughs> And we, we have that mess uh, we have that mess again like we had at the museum. Yeah, you will need to plant data in the visitor okay. Okay, do you need to plant data in the visitor record system? The camera systems in Hardingham and Taylor's lab. Financial data is to be transferred to Dr. Taylor's personal terminal. That in and in of itself will not be enough to ensure night air and involvement, however. Planting the data is only the first part of your task. This is where a heavier touch will be required. Yeah, like, I feel I'm going to take, like, I'll take Gaichu and, um, maybe Duncan because he's, I feel like he's still a tanky character and I don't, I'm not sure I have another t tank character like that, but then also switch out Isabel and Garbit because they, well, Garbit does have slightly different moves than I do, like, she can summon different spirits and she can do, like, she has moves that I don't have as a shaman so that might be enough reason to keep her but like Isabel really only has like her Decker abilities which I have as well so I don't know yeah. you will also need to steal a prototype laser weapon 
There's a GPS tracking device attached to it, which Lou will plant deep in Red Dragon territory. The apparent theft of a prototype weapon by a disgruntled triad member should convince Ares to dispatch overwhelming force against the Red Dragon, dealing them a vicious blow. As a note, Lou does not care at what becomes of the later weapon. If you wish to sell it or keep it, feel free. I've also attached a map of your extraction route on the building. During the facility's expansion in 2052, Ares Asia was forced to extend their foundations deeper into the island. They drove piles through the former site of the central MTR station, which partially collapsed during the da Dalu Bay earthquake of 2044. Practically, this means that you can exit through the basement directly under the new MTR line through central. But then you look, you can be gone without anyone knowing how. That's not going to happen. Okay, unfortunately, this route is heavily alarmed, so you will be forced to go in the front door. If you can, if you can con the front desk, you should have no problems. The facility is both, both an office and a residence, so strange people coming and going at odd hours is not unusual. If you're not up to fast talk, however, be prepared to shoot your way in. Okay. Um, that, that is the elf with the drone who was literally missing every turn and to the point where like, we were stuck in combat until I figured out how to use her drone. <laughs> so like I'm a little reluctant to take her back into a fight to be honest. <laughs> yeah, Lou does not care if you're loud or quiet but a word of caution. He can't buy all this information via the loose lips of one of the research team. Other fixers know of this job. Move fast and you are guaranteed success but they're definitely overshadowed when it's written iron your prize. I guess. We did very well. Still on the loose since his regards and bid you good fortune and plentiful ammunition. So I might have to go buy some more ammo, but I don't know which shop to go to. You still say violation. Don't die, Wolf. Our arrangement has been very profitable so far, so far, and I would hate to lose that. That's my job. Okay, from Kanye. One of the things I've learned over the years is that even the rich and powerful have annoyances. Thorns in their side, if you will. No one is without troubles. The rich just had a different way of solving them. The client for this one has grown tired of one particular thorn in his side. Chang Sing Rooster Lo. Lo is a red pole for one of the smaller triad triads here in Hong Kong, the 289s, or the Easy Money Gang, if you prefer. Despite the 289 small stature, Lowe's illegal activities have managed to damage the client's profits. Mr. Johnson would like you to help him show Lowe the error of his ways. What was that? Hey. <laughs> okay, Lowe takes an evening every few months to dine at the Shangri La restaurant in, in Aberdeen. If you aren't aware, the Shangri La is an elite establishment, serving primarily corporate clientele from Wuxing Incorporated. Because of this, it's not unusual for Donna to bring bodyguards to assistance with them. In Lowe's case, he brings a particularly brutish enforcer known as the Talon, and undoubtedly feels well protected. You are going to prove just how long he is in this regard. How am I going to get in there? Everybody got bodyguards, but I'm just supposed to like waltz in and take care of this one? Uh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you are the kidnap Rooster Lowe. So long as he is alive and in relatively good health, all options on the table. So listen, whenever somebody is like, oh, hey, go after this person and like, make sure they don't die. You have to count on me remembering that I'm not supposed to kill that person. <laughs> so I don't know if we should take this one. The client has arranged an exit via boat. So long as you can get low from the interior to the restaurant's dock, the client will handle everything else. I wonder how much of these, we, like, because these are essentially side missions, so, like, I wonder how much side missions we'll do before we get something that's going to sort of steer us towards the story quest again. Um, I think this one. Claim payment for the Wind Poet Garden Murders. You submit the job is finished, and we'll wait the response. A few moments later, a message pops onto the screen. We can't get paid. <laughs> so I ask you to solve a problem and your method of solving it is the killer people are doing a favor for? How do I know I was going to... We might have both end up betrayed. <laughs> okay, that's it. I have half a mind to drill you into the goddamn page. I mean, 
Still, the Wampungas are now more afraid of me than ever, and money started flowing again. So I suppose that's something. I've attached your payment. I mean, they're just getting new elders anyway. <laughs> the Wampungas made it explicitly clear that they wouldn't have paid at all, except to ensure you never come back to the gardens. Next time, try not to fuck the job up so much. I may not be as forgiving. But, I mean, maybe not. I, I, at least, I'm sick by, they were already, they were immediately ready to throw me under the bus. I got no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry. Like, I don't consider it, I just consider it self-preservation. Um, is this still the restaurant thing? Wait, but I took that one, right? Well, uh, I need you to come to the parlor. A friend and business partner of mine named Dr. Shen Yang has need of your services. Something about attending a fancy party in Repulse Bay. He... Oh, yeah, I remember that. Wait. How... I should, okay. I can't, like... What? What? I, I can't take it? Or did I just... That just a message is not. I don't know. Let's go see what, what she what happened if she goes to sleep. Hey, you wake with a start once again. You, you're tangled in your seats, drenched in sweat. Your throat feels like it's on fire. Whatever, what is going on? You can't remember what your dreams were about, not precisely, but again, you feel that yearning sensation, the emptiness in your gut and in your chest. Your head throbbing, you have your, you heave yourself out of bed. Okay, so it's not going to let us, like, even get the chance of, like, trying to see what actually happened in her dream. Is that another dwarf? Because he looks much shorter than everyone else here. Yeah, a val- uh, yep. Here, yeah, a rotund, balding dwarf in a cheap suit turns to face you. Light glints from the heavy coat, gold chains that hang around his neck. When he speaks, the voice that greets your ears is high and nasal and has been contorted into a rough approximation of a New York accent. I should be able to do that, but I haven't been to New York since I was like 11. I don't think I have much of an accent anymore. I don't think I could do it without just sounding like I'm making fun of the accent. Yeah, pleased to meet you. Chang was kind enough to arrange this little sit down between us. He extends a, stab, a slab like hand for you to shake. You can call me Dr. Shen Yang. Shake his hand, pleased to meet you. I'm Wolf. Why are you named after a city? Shake his hand. It's good to meet a paying client. Um, I, I say this one because I think he already knows who I am. Okay, his grip is as salt as his palm is moist. Mm. It's like shaking hands with a boneless ham. You share a long, uncomfortably flaccid handshake, handshake before he finally releases you. Hey, okay. I'm, uh... Looking for a little outside help on a problem I've been having. Ordinarily, I would handle it myself or have some of my friends see to it. But it's kind of delicate, you know? My guys would be noticed before they made any he headway on my problem. So I figured, hey, I hire contractors all the time. Might as well get some contractors of a different stripe. Tell me about your problem. Maybe you can help. As long as you're paying, I'm in. Lasting friendships, I may do favors exchanged. I'm all ears. Yeah, I'll do the first one. Hey, I run a little film studio, Southern Crown Films. We mostly do trade work, but we record some sims too. Maybe you've seen some of my stuff. Space Mongols from the Moon, The Flavor of Pomegranates, Ultimate Scale Squad. These, these all sound like terrible movies that I would not be interested in. <laughs> Nobody likes the sound of Ultimate Kill Squad. How much killing do they do? Can't. Uh, lie sounds familiar. Um, 
No, we're still trying to be honest, I suppose. I can't say I've had the pleasure. Uh, too bad. I'll send some over to Cheng so you can take a look. I'm not going to take a look. Anyway, there's this other guy in the industry, and we've been butting heads since day one. Name's Neville Ma. He runs Yellow Spring Studios. No matter what I do, I can't shut him out of the business. He always manages to get one over on me. Still my stars. He's been running me into the ground with this show called Promises and Moonlight. They starred a girl named Penelope Wong. New talent, but the viewers have been going nuts over it. She's the show's linchpin. So I'm supposed to convince her to come over to you? Okay, hang on, I'm getting there. So about six months ago, Never was, never was out in Grang Zhao for some hoity-toity party. He's on the road, probably drunk. A semi comes out of nowhere, and pow. Rex his fancy new Eurocar West Wind. Bad luck for Neville, good luck for me. I figure, hey, that's the end of him for the year, and I start planning some new stuff he can't compete with from inside the hospital. You follow me so far? Let me guess, he found a way to compete with you from the hospital. No, worse, the bastard is out of the hospital. He's back in the game, bringing out season two of Promises and Moonlight. I need that show off the air one way or another, and that, my friend, is where you come in. Already that's strange. Yeah, right? You get hit by a truck and you just, like, already out of the hospital? Hmm. Tell me about it. He should have been in that hospital for at least th three months. And in physical therapy, a lot longer. Only took him, like, a week to get out. Couldn't freaking believe it. That kind of medical care costs top dollar. He's got a lot of money, but not that much. Recovery time like that means one of two things is going on. Neville could have found himself a silent partner, someone willing to pay top dollar for cutting-edge care, I don't think it's likely, but it could have happened. If it ain't that, the smart money said that he's been skimming off the top of Yellow Springs earnings and not reporting it to the shareholders. Okay, you want me to look into that, I take it. I need you to go get me something to blackmail Neville with. Find out how he could afford to get out of the hospital so fast. He works out, his, works out of his penthouse mostly, so search his computer, closet, sock drawer, whatever. There's got to be something incriminating there. Where's, it, where's this penthouse? Like, I guess I'm gonna go do this one because it doesn't seem like it'll take as long as that last quest. Well. One, one second. <laughs> one, one second. There's food on the line. One, one second. Um, I always hate the question of like, what do you want to eat? And then, like, my mind goes blank because it's just like food, edible, in, in, in my mouth. <laughs> uh, I can't think. Like, I literally, my mind just went, Psh. okay, I'm just gonna, like, call. um, this is real. Okay, Neville lives in the Repulse Bay. It's this real swanky joint on the south end of Hong Kong. Yeah, food, exactly. That's what I'm just like. Like, that's why I, saw, I heard, like, the vibrating, and I was, at first I was going to ignore it. But then I looked over and saw food, and I was like, what? Okay, important message. <laughs> yeah, he never lives in the Repulse Bay. It's this real swanky joint on the south end of Hong Kong Island by the bay. Oh my gosh, my cut! Wait, my husband's calling. Hold, on. I I will try to mute this and hopefully my mic turns back on. Let me know if like the sound still stays on anyway.
Okay. Let me know, is my mic working again? Just before I start reading this. And... Okay, I, I was getting worried, like, oh gosh, I think I messed it up. <laughs> okay, hey, it's, I've this. Okay, I haven't been able to get anybody in to poke around his apartment because the security is too tight. Lucky for you, though, Neville's throwing a party on the mezzanine level with all the shops and a restaurant and balcony and such. He's celebrating the second season launch of his show and everybody's gonna be there gonna make a real snarl for the building security yeah mobile is so it's like i have a problem with mobile where it is like on mine it disconnects and so i think that's why I sometimes like when i watch a stream on mobile and like i'm commenting sometimes it's kicking me out of chat because even when you were responding to other people in chat i couldn't see their responses either so like i don't know like mobile's got to be worked on but i guess it is a little bit tougher with live streaming yeah you might also want to hit up the party if you can bluff your way in everyone close to neville will be there and most of them will be three shit three sheets to the wind by the time you get there some discreet questioning might get me the dirt that i need just remember, if you go to the party, don't use your real name. Go with Argyle. Should be safe enough that there's nobody in the biz out here with that name. So nobody will ask any questions about how your work's going. Okay. Yeah, I got a day, Dr. Shen Yang. This job sounds pretty underhanded to me. Says the people who just came. One who also, like, people who busted up a museum or a museum in the process and then like sold like these two magical artifacts and then like just help with them kill a bunch of people like d we're way past underhanded at this point yeah hit the apartment hit the party dig a black man information on never mind sounds easy you know can't you just make a better show <laughs> That is the obvious thing, but obviously he's not capable of that. Hey. Hey, oh, he not as vigorously. Oh, yeah. Cheng talked you up when I approached her with the job. Given what she told me, this job, this job should be cake. And did she tell you about the last job? Because <laughs> I'll go to blackmail Neville. Next thing you know, you're the one being blackmailed. Now the blackmail material is what I need more than anything. But if you can get Penelope Wong out of her contract, I'll pay you extra. Got it? I want to start that star power on my side. I guess we we'll, we could talk to her after we get the blackmail because it might go easier for us. And one last thing. I don't want you starting a scene while you're there. You interrupt his party, make a mess, or trash his apartment, and I'm not paying you. Fuck, we're not getting paid. <laughs> Why the concern? If you're gonna hamstring me before I even go on the run, I wanna know why. Because it's. Gouch? Gouch? And I can't have Ma knowing I'm after him. In my business, everybody's got dirty tricks. But if you make it public, you're using them? Dr. Shen Yang draws a finger across his throat. That's it. My career is as dead as the People's Republic of China. Nobody will work for or with me ever again. So don't embarrass, don't embarrass me, eh? It's understood. I'll be discreet. No mess, no guns. Got it. No mess, no guns. Okay, well, that can't... that. We gotta get Duncan out of here. He's too trigger happy. We gotta repair petition to point. I'll make sure that yours remains intact. Let's not... Let's not make any promises. Let's just... <laughs> let's just... Oh, this one. Oh, you can pack heat. Just don't kill anybody at the party or in my apartment. You got to fight, you find someone else to do it. If security gets on you, do what you got to. I'd rather explain a few bullet holes in a pile of dead shadow when it's got me. Yeah, got it. 
Good. If you pull it, if you pull this off, I recommend you to all my friends too. You don't seem like you deal with shadow one as much. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like say something offensive. I mean, that's more work for us. Okay, sounds like we have a deal then. His grin widens. Good woman. That's what I like to hear. When you're done, drop Ching a line. I'll come meet you back in. I'll hand over the money. Like, why does he want to do everything in person? That's a little strange. It's like he's trying too hard to be the face of this deal. Like, it kind of makes me think there's somebody behind him a little bit. I don't know why. I don't know. I could just be too paranoid at this point. <laughs> like, this game is already just, like, making me suspicious of everyone. Wor like, worse than I was already. Yeah. I thought it was yellow. I was like, why would that be yellow? Um, it's this way, right? Wait, what you about to do? Just, just go ahead. Just go, just go. Go. Cause I know you. I know you want to. Go ahead. Just please don't see it. Sit on my keyboard. Just go. No, no. Go. She used to call me cats. Yeah, he's just, like, he's just trying too hard. Like, nobody else is, like, this bent on meaning us and purpose. Like, in person, I mean. Hmm. I mean, I think it's it. Where are you at? No, 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 no. You, you go, go this way. Go. Oh my God. Okay. Please don't knock everything over. Thanks. Okay. Um. Okay, this one. How much time you got? Okay. I was going to like pet him and he turned his head at the exact moment and like hit him in the face. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't think I want to take Duncan. He's way too trigger happy. So I want, but yeah, I want him. Uh, I don't, I don't want Eos. I d yeah, exactly. <laughs> like he just wants everyone to see him. He's such a camera hog. Uh, did I or not? Very quick. Can I? Can I like level them up? <sighs> I guess I wish I could level them up from this screen. Um, who else do I want? I think that's the only new person I want, though. Uh, Isabel or hmm, cause I would take her for that grenade launcher, but it hurts us too. So, oh, I don't really want that. We good. I want someone else who's leveled up, so I'm gonna take Gabby, just for one one more thing, and then I don't know if it lets if it would just let me level him up. That would be. Oh, I thought this was how much money we have left, and that's how much he was. I was like, um, no, we are not. Wait, okay. And he's like sitting on the blanket I'm working on, so it's just, it's gonna be half made of cat hair. Uh, you arrive at the eponymous, eponymously, oh god, that, that word, named V Pulse Bay, a gleaming hotel and apartment building on the shores of V Pulse Bay, Hong Kong Island. Rolling storm clouds choke the sky, lending the structure a sinister appearance. 
As you push through the doors and into the building, a sudden break in the clouds reveals the sun that's gone red as blood. That's not a good sign. <laughs> you make your way into a ground floor elevator. The attendant paid you no mind. As the car begins to climb, you hear the sounds of merriment drawing closer. As the doors slide open, you find Neville Ma's party in full swing. I thought it was going to say, like, you find him dead, and I was like, oh, well. Takes care of that problem, doesn't it? I wish this screen wasn't black, because it, it just always worries me. <laughs> like, oh no, did my game crash? Oh, gosh. Hit the elevator. Disgorges you onto the mezzanine with little of fanfare. Off in the distance, you can hear the sounds of clinking glasses, carefree laughter, and silverware on China. Here we should discuss our approach wealth. I would recommend searching the apartment as our first course of action. I am somewhat dubious about the idea of crashing a party. We ghouls are seldom welcome at such events. Smart. Yeah, <laughs> if only. I. <sighs> I feel like this is going to go horribly wrong and we're not going to get paid, which is going to suck. I'm surprised we got paid for that last job, honestly. But now we can't go back and talk to the cool people. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, sure, but never mind. Penelope Wong would be at the party. If we don't bluff our way in, we can't talk to them. Doc, Doc Shen Yang is paying us to find out how Ma is up and walking so quickly after the accident. Talking to the guy would probably be a good idea. Okay, so this is embarrassing, but I forgot his last name was Ma. And so whenever they were like, you need to go into Ma's apartment, I would thought they was like, I was like, why is he talking about his mother? I don't <laughs> Wow. Wow. Okay, the party is too high, high visibility for my liking. Let's try the apartment first. We'll play it by ear. I don't know if I've seen any. I would rather go to the, um, the apartment first. Okay, I agree for obvious reasons. Lead on, Wolf. We will follow. Maybe I should have bought someone different than Gaichu for this. Because I, I forgot the fact that he is a ghoul. <laughs> like, I don't know how much we can smooth talk our way into a party with the ghoul right there. Yeah, that's a guess. How? Okay. Just going to the elevator. The, that fish emo is <laughs> what? The elevator dings softly and a bright, sophisticated elevator panel awaits your input. Take the elevator to the penthouse floor. We're gonna have to hope my skills are high enough for this because we might have to restart the level and get Isabel. Okay, this is a standard hotel door protected by a simple hydraulic locking mechanism. A key, a keypad is mounted beside the door frame. Use astral possession to sense the keypad. Have guide. Why would I? I guess to open it without the code. Your third eye slides open, and the keypad before you takes on a gentle glow. A repetitive sensation radi radiates from. Six, one, five, and three. The code is likely a combination of these numbers. Okay, but like in that order. Wait, what was that number? Oh my God! It was six one. I remember six one and five. Holy crap! Why did I click next? Son of a bitch. Uh, six one, five. Wait, eight two. Is that, was that it? Like, let's just try. Yeah, wait, six, one, five, eight. Oh, nope, no, 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 no. How do I, how do I go? Six, five, one, eight. Okay, no, there's no two at all. Yeah, I forgot. I clicked past it and just like didn't memorize uh, six. That's one. One five eight. Is that what I? I think that's the one I put in immediately. Eight six one five. 
Oh my god. I think that's what, exactly what I just put in. God. Wait, is it? Okay. It's not even. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go back into it. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, six, one, five, and three. Okay, I come. Don't know where I got the eight from. This is just six, one, five, three. That's when you just freaking gave. One, three, five, six. Okay, I was about to say if it's that easy. What does this? How am I supposed to get into this thing? Oh my god, are we going to have to talk to him first to get the... Like, I don't see why he would even do that. One... Five... Three. Oh, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> no shit, stop. Nope. Okay, sit, sit right here. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, I think, I think it changed too. The, the code is like the six one. Ah, oh, gosh, this does not help. Okay, I'm just going to leave. Uh, maybe there's something over here. Something around here that would... I'm just going to let... You know what? I'm going to let Gobbit handle this. I, I can't see. I can't. No. <laughs> I, I'm going to see what Gachu does. I can't tell him. Oh my gosh. This, this is the same thing. It's just the same thing. Okay. Six, one. Oh, I think I tried that. One six five three. Hopefully this doesn't lock us out. We might have to go down to the party. Oh, that's not even the right numbers. It's six five one three. But that's one. Because it doesn't give us the option to put the numbers in twice. Mm. I think we're going to go to the party first. Because I have no idea how to get into this room. I wanted to get the black mouth first, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, a sullen looking troll stands on the periphery of the kitchen. He tends to use soldiers slumped forward in size. No restaurant service tonight. The kitchen staff's too busy with the party to serve anyone. Wish I could get onto that balcony. He sniffs the air wistfully. All that delicious food. See, this guy knows what's up. 
Looks fancy. Who's doing this shindig? What's so special about this party? Like we don't know what um let's see. Are you kidding? There are tons of trade stars out there. Man, I love to get my picture taken with their you and um wing Mac Wing Mac Lamb. They're in promises of moonlight. You know the show, right? He fiddles shyly. Like of course, can't wait for the new season. His eyes widening excitedly. Me too. That twisted lady Chiang in the last episode. What a cliffhanger. I couldn't believe it. Me too. But good luck with the k kitchen, buddy. Okay. That's right. Today's special Buddha delight. I wonder if we could just... I don't know. There's yeah, nothing in here? I don't know. Nope. Why was I able to come in here? This is useless. Um. Okay. The ragged way the managers to straighten up as you approach. Good evening, ma'am. Welcome to the veranda at the repulse bay. How may I be of service? You've got some questions about. You look exhausted. Why don't you take a break? What's it the guard by the balcony? There's a private party outside, and our establishment provides security for any event that requires it. But don't worry, the balcony will be free again in a few hours. Yeah, you look exhausted. Why don't you take a break? Not yet. I can't afford to miss any tips. He sighs. I went to Ms. McCall Le McCool? last week, and it wiped me out. Bad luck with the horses, you know. Maybe you can help you out a favor for a favor. I'm in a pretty lucrative trade myself. Care to make a deal? Today's the day your luck changes. I'm willing to help you out for some information. The waiter is still that you suspicious, but his desperation gets the better of him. I need access to a penthouse apartment. Name your price. I've got no union to spare. All right. Who's a, whose apartment? 500 new union and the code is yours. He blazed it out without a second thought. 250, I'm walking. Better than something than nothing, right? I don't know if our charisma is high enough to succeed at this. So, uh, I just give him the 500. Okay, the code is 16. I know I just tried that. I, I know I tried that. Okay, he was has PDA and glances at the bank balance. A satisfied grin lights up his face. Oh, and if you get caught, I didn't tell you anything. Of course not. I've never spoken to you in my life. His smile widens. Have a fun with Ma's things. If somewhere to go missing, maybe you wind up at a pawn shop. I doubt they'd be missed. Okay, going back to the apartment. Can you stop, please? Jeez, this cat today. Okay, input code. Dang, it's one. Okay, one, six, three, five. Okay, the door unlocks. This is. Okay, I was about to say this is a small apartment for somebody who's really rich, but it's the living room, obviously. I can see my breath. Why is it so cold in here? This dude, a vampire? Okay, rows and rows of finely tailored suits, custom shoes, and various accessories fill this room. Search suits. Oh, I didn't realize. I did the asset inspect and it changed. Okay, look at cabinet. I don't know, we might. Try to, um, steal some stuff. <laughs> okay, the, I don't know. The, the I don't want to take a sip. I, I just want the bottle to sell later. The, the liquor cabinet is full of expensive wines and spirits. Several decanters hit the topic, but one in particular catches your eye. A bottle of brilliantly bright red wine. Mm -mm. Okay. The opposite side of the living room is dominated by the massive security door. It's much heavier than the exterior apartment door. It looks like a recent addition. 
The wall has clearly been reinforced to support it. A series of top of the line commercial grade mag locks hold the door sealed. It'd be easier to tunnel through the wall than it would be to break them open. <laughs> yeah, but like, I don't trust it. Like, his, his apartment is already weird because it's so cold, and it's like, well, I don't know. I don't know if I want to. I don't want to take some food from people who like doing shady stuff. Like, that might be a trap. Like, he knows he's got valuable things in here. A cursory glance at the door frame reveals, reveals no sign of a keypad or a jack point. But you do see what appears to be an FR. Wait. Yeah, no. RFID reader. A 16 digit number has been stenciled onto the side of the reader in red ink. This didn't come with the apartment. Why well, fortify an interior door like this? Probably to keep up appearances. Can you imagine how people would talk if he'd install this thing in the hallway? He wraps the door with his knuckles. The reverberations are low and ominous. We aren't getting through this door without a key. Most likely that means we'll have to get one from Ma or from one of his people. We're going to the party, aren't we? I mean, that is the next logical step. Tell me we're going to the party. Why is she so ex- Gaba is going to get... Ugh. Looks that way. He sat up. We've got a party to attend. To help the party, someone on the building staff must have a key. Let's check with them. I don't know. Let's keep looking around. Let's keep looking around up here. Because I don't think we went into this room yet. Is there nothing here? Okay. Refrigerator. I guess we don't really, didn't really need that. But okay, I guess. Wasn't there some, I guess, I guess that is the, um, the blackmail. It took, yeah. And how in the world are we actually going to get into this party? Okay. The security guard stands in front of the patio, a bored expression on his face. He looks you up and down as you approach. Private party pal, invite. His eyes land on Gaichu and his face goes white. He recoils, recoils on her? In her? What the hell? Ghoul. Ghoul in the lounge. Be silent. His voice comes out in a rasping hiss. Calm yourself. You're going to cause a panic. The guard stares at you. His mouth agape. What the hell do you think you're doing? Bringing a ghoul in here. Like, no, use your head. Dead in the real ghoul. He's an actor in a costume. Oh. He leads in to expect to inspect Gaiju. That makeup is really good. He shoots. He shoots a backward glance at you and turns back to the guard with a slight bow. Thank you very much. Hair and makeup worked very hard. This guy is an absolute idiot. Are you see? <laughs> no makeup looks that real. Up close, but I mean, maybe it's advanced. Maybe it's advanced way, way beyond what we get, we have now. Hey, if you don't mind my asking, what show are you working on? I might like to check it out. Oh gosh! Oh my God! I click, I click by it too fast. It's called Ghoul School. It's a musical con. Oh my goodness! Ghoul School was that that was a Scooby Doo movie. Um, I used to watch it like every time we came on Cartoon Network. <laughs> okay, it's a musical comedy about an international comedy for it. Um, HMHVV, is that just what we call infect, Infected You? It's called Chop Chop Kitchen. It's an ultra variety cook show about a camera chef who kills cooks and eats up his chefs. It's called Shadow Force. It's about a team of shadow ones who get sent to the future so that they can help fight against alien invaders. Wait, can I go back? Can I? I want to see what guy choose. Gosh, I wish there would. Why is there no back option? It was like something to go back. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we're trying to choose. Like, 
I don't know which one will like go over the best with him. The musical comedy one, probably not. Uh, uh, but only the uptight ones. I have a code. The city, the car, the guard nods excitedly. Hey, that sounds really good. You know, a lot of show business type. Hey, Come around these parts. I'll do what I can to shop it around. Chop, chop, kitchen. It has a great ring to it. Yes, uh, we are all very proud. The guard moves aside. Well, I've kept you long enough. You head on into the party. He extends his hand for Guy to shake. It has a, It was a real pleasure meeting you, sir. He stares at the guard's hand for a moment before extending his own. They shake. Yes. Thank you for your enthusiasm. The pleasure was mine. He's so polite. As you pass by the garden into the party, Gobbit whispers at you under her breath. That was amazing. It, it was too stupid to work, and it worked. I got karma for that. Don't think that's how karma works. Which one is him? So I cannot. Okay, so we're gonna go like clockwork. Yeah, clockwise. And just talk to Hey. Okay, the party goer raises an eyebrow at your approach. They're serving century old cabinet like punch here. It's hard to believe considering how much a single bottle costs. But it's even hard to believe Mr. Moss hosting this party and so soon after his accident. I okay, I heard about that. Does it seem to have slowed him down? Still fuzzy on the details. What happened? Yeah, wine, whatever. Tell me more about Neville Ma. Yes, subtle. Hey. The man's a machine. He smirks, amused by himself. What if he is? Not literally, but he might as well be the way he sprang back after being T-boned at 140 clicks and out. Did do the machine. He's a machine or he's a vampire. Or something, he's, I don't know, he ain't human. You got, like, I would think, oh, maybe he, like, you know, maybe rear-ended or something, which should still be bad, because it's, it's a truck. Like, it's no way for this not to be bad. But he got, like, T-bone, like, direct hit. This dude's a machine. He's been, he's been re rebuilt. Okay, but, okay, Jesus, how's he even standing? That's quite a feat. How did he even survive? Says he, man, should look like cat food at an impact. <laughs> Um, hmm. it'd be gay. Get murdered. Oh my gosh. Like, I feel like you had to be, yeah, you had to be on your toes too much in this situation. As soon as you, like, I read you, like, the, you take, like, one, you have, like, one drink, and they probably, he probably got it, like, all. Like, he probably got it, like, something mixed in it so you're instantly drunk and you can't, like.